Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Today I'm going to present to you another surah which is really important and it has a really interesting story behind it. This surah is really very very important and it's also very important to know the meaning. Some of us know the meaning but some of us might not know. That's why I thought that I can make a presentation about this surah. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This surah's name is Surah Al-Feel. This is a story of a man, an Abyssinian man, who was the king of Yemen. His name was Abraha. Abraha built a church in the kingdom of Yemen. He had built a church for many reasons. For people to worship there, as well as for business purposes and for many other reasons. But the people said to Abraha that we have it in Makkah. We have our house in Makkah. If you want us to worship here, you have to first deal with that house. Abraha said, okay, I have a very big elephant. I will take this elephant with me. I have many armies. I will take my armies with it. I have many camels I will take with me. So what Abraha did, Abraha sent a message to Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib was the leader of that team. So he sent the order to Abdul Muttalib. He sent a message. There he said, I am coming to destroy the house. Abdul Muttalib replied, Give me our camels. Interestingly, the camels which he was talking about, it was belonged to Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib. So he was wanting the camels back. But Abraha refused to give the camels. So what he did is he took all the animals and armies with him. What Abdul, Abdul Muttalib said is, I am leaving everything in the hands of Almighty Allah. He is the one, only He can protect it. Nothing can destroy it. Subhanallah. What Abraha did is he started his journey. In the middle of the journey, the elephant whom he was trusting so much stopped. The Quran speaks about these elephants, this huge big elephant which Abraha was talking about. This elephant's name was Su Al Alfil. Alfil was Alfil. What the arm is dead as you as the elephant wasn't moving. The arm is, uh, was hitting, uh, hitting the elephant hard. Now the elephant started running. The armies stopped it. Then it again stopped. It didn't move anymore. Abraha was very angry. Then he remembered the thing which Abdul Muttalib told him that I am leaving everything in the hands of my Lord. Who stopped the elephant? Allah Almighty stopped the huge big elephant, Su Al Feel. Al -feel. He had another he had another plan. He told the armies, I don't need this elephant. Armies, go and destroy the uh, Kaaba, Kaaba Sharif. 
When the armies was going, of course, Almighty Allah had another plan. When the armies was near, near, uh, he, they were near the Kaaba Sharif. They saw that birds roaming around the Kaaba Sharif with small baked, like small baked pebble, small baked pebble. The birds was flying, the birds were flying with these small, small baked clay pebbles. When the birds were flying, suddenly it's released and the pebbles straight fell into the armies. It fell into the armies and the armies were dead. How can armies, armies... Can, how armies can die with just small baked uh, pebble, small baked clay pebble. Who made the pebble? Who sent the birds to Kaaba Sharif? Allah sent the birds and told them, protect my house. It went at the center of the head. It went inside the body and it destroyed the armies. Abraha had no other things to do. He ran away from that place. Allah was now telling, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alam taro kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil feel. Have you not seen how your Lord dealt with the people of the elephant? Alam taro kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil feel. When Abraha was going back, was running away, his organs, his organs were falling, his organs were falling down. When he was going back to his place, his hand fell off. Later his legs, later his body, and like this way he died. This happened just before the birth of our dearest Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. It just before it happened, it, the death just happened before the birth of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Second ayat is saying, Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil, alam yaj'al kaidahum fi tadlin. Did he not make their plot end to vain? They had so many plans, Abraha. But Allah had even more. Abraha failed. That's what it's saying in the second ayat. Did he not make their plot to end in vain? Alam yajal kaidahum fi tadlil wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil and he sent down on them birds in flocks what i told in the story allah sent the birds and told them to protect the kaaba sharif alam yajal kaidahum fi tadlil wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil Tarmihim bihijaratim min sijil, striking them with stones of baked clay. I told you, the birds released this small, this small baked clay, released the small baked clay, and it directly fell into the center of the army's head, and it went inside the and the army's died that's what it's saying striking them with stones of baked clay then he made them like straw eaten up by cattle yes so this was about the surah hope you liked the story it has a really interesting story. Abraha planned so many things, but everything was in vain. Whom, whom, who is the creator of the world? Almighty Allah. 
Abraha told Abdul Muttalib that I will destroy the Kaaba. You cannot stop me. But who stopped him? Almighty Allah. So remember friends, when you can't do anything, leave everything in the hands of Allah. You cannot fully depend in Allah. You have to work for it. Now when you don't have any other options, you're totally, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. And then you will leave everything in the hands of Almighty Allah. If you have only one more plan, just apply that one more plan. If you have two plans, two more plans, apply those two more plans. When you have no more plans, then leave everything to Almighty Allah. That's the main thing of this surah. Surah Al-Fil, the elephant. Allah stop that elephant. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please visit my Facebook page and my YouTube channel where you will get my presentations. Thanks a lot. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay well, stay home, stay safe. Don't go outside in this corona pandemic. We'll see you soon with another interesting presentation with another surah. Until then, Allah Fez, Tara.